Okay. As I told you that extend method that can be used to add list to items values at the end of list one. Okay. So list one dot extend method. After that, if you pass list two, then you request for print list one. Okay. Now run this code. So now what happened? Try to understand. This is happened. Okay. Now list one, list two values were added to list one. What is our list one? Up to this one is list one. Go for your list one. This is up to 4J. This is list one. Okay. After that, this list two, what happened? List two, list two that is uh, added. Okay. With the list one. So list two become list, uh, list two becomes what? Where is that list two? This is. After that, this is okay. Here it is uh, multiple line of comments, multiple line kept under comment. This statement line of code will not be executed. Next, list three. So, list three is equal to list one plus list two. Okay. So, here, whenever I extended list two values, that list two values are added with the list one. Okay. Is the list one up to four zero? Next is what this is. These are the values of what your list two values. Where is our list two from here? This is list one. Okay, list two. Okay, next um, here list three, list one plus list two. Here by append method, append method, list one values are appended with list two. What are list one values? These are the list one values. They are appended with the list two. List two values are these Vasu, Rahul, Suman. So after that, list one values are appended. Okay. So by extend method, this is uh, what happened by extend method. List two values are extended. List two values are added the end of the list one. End of the list one. This is the list one. After that, list two values are appended. Okay. One more time, these values are appended this is to be removed why this is happened doing like this uh, list one this the code started from today's code this is the list one this okay print type list one type list one list two print list one this okay um This is okay. Concatenation list one plus list two. You keep this code also in triple quotation marks. Okay. Triple quotation. Why triple quotation will be used for that line of code? Multiple comment section. Huh? Okay. Now. List three, okay, no issue. You run this code. This is to be removed. Last line of code. Okay, no issue. You keep this also in triple comment section. Okay, now you run this code, but still we are getting lost this line. Okay, why? Now you do one thing, only keep list one, list two. Okay, you keep this also in 
triple quotation. Now run this code. Now this is the exact result. Okay. As per because of now multiple code, we whenever we write here loop for loop is being done here. So due to this extra list one, we were seeing extra 10, 20, 10.4, true, 4, j. These values they are looking extra at the end of this list two. So this is the exact result. We need to get the result like this. That moment, why? Because I have kept all these line of code under triple comment. So now means from here to here to here, the total code I have kept in triple quotes means this line of code, this much of code will not be read by your uh, Python interpreter. So rather than doing this, starting, keep the starting, you remove this quotes here. Okay. After that, you remove the starting from here, remove this end of this code, remove this end of starting code, remove this end of triple quotes, you remove this starting. No, end of triple quote, starting triple quote. So, meaning of this, what happened? This much of code, total code, no. From here to here, the total code kept under multi-line counts. So this much of code will not be read by your Python interpreter. Understand that? Because now I am getting, I need to get uh, this type of output by this extend method. Here I kept all this uh, append method, uh, concatenation of joining the methods, all of them I kept under triple quotation marks means this much of code will not be executed by the will not be not execution will not be read by come uh, interpreter interpretation will not be done by your python interpreter only this line of code will be executed not not this line of code these two lines of code executed from after that before that whatever the code today from here i have started this print statement will be taken, this print statement, two print statement, after that one more, three print statements. Okay, one is this, one is this, one is this, lastly, finally this, okay, this is done. So now uh, we will try to understand some more methods of list comment, uh, some methods of uh, lists try to understand some methods what are that methods first of all so in the previous classes i briefed all that mess uh, list of methods however by a summary we will try to understand some methods again okay one is that append method one is that append method in lists to add an element. Element, otherwise value. Everything is okay. Element or value at end of the list. Okay. End of the list. To add an element or value at the end of the list. Suppose list one. List one already we have seen. No? So that list one, suppose list one dot append, append method, if I am using. So for that append method, if I pass any value 49, okay? So as per this statement, append method to add an element or value at the end of the list. So I have passed a value 49 that is to be added that is to be end of the list one. So what is our list one? We will we will try to get a printout statement. Print bracket list one. Okay. Now let us try to get. So see your list one and list two are extended with the. Now after that one list one definition is changed. This is now. List 1, 2, list 2, both are merged here. So after finally 49 is append means 
added at the end of the list. End of the list, 49 added. So list append method will be used to add in a value at the end of the list. Okay, next come. Next method is what? Next method, we need to understand next method. That is clear method. Okay. Clear method. So clear method, remove all elements from a list. So we will read this method at the end of the, at the end of the class. Next is what? So copy method. Copy method, copy method. Method means brackets. Okay. Copy method copies. What it does returns returns a copy of copy of list. So copy method returns a copy of the list. So how to do this? Suppose if I want to list six, list five, that is equal to list one dot copy. I want to use copy method here. Yeah. Okay. Simply whenever you give dot, you will get all these methods. Simply click copy. Now, okay. Now what happened, try to understand. Whenever you try to get print statement, list five. So now list five will get all the values of list one, copy to list five. Okay. Now try to get the printout. So this is what actually your list one. Why? Because your list one extended with the list two values. So that moment list two values are added with the list one. So list one become a lengthy list. After that, 49 appended. So this is now these values copied to list five by copy method we can copy from a list all the values of one list to another list so list five that is what copy method so then one more method use index method okay index method method means bracket Bra that method will be used used to what purpose User to it returns what uh, uh, it is used to get index of index of any element value. Okay, index method. So let us see how to get. Okay, okay. Now list five dot index method see this is index method use and within this bracket index method how to represent index method okay index bracket you pass the value okay any value index suppose was to index you want to get you pass that was to the string always string will be represented here now after that, try to get print. Okay. You simply put in front of this print bracket. Okay. Now here, no, you will get the index of this wasu. What is the index of this? If we start from here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the 5, fifth index. At fifth index, wasu string is there now you get what is the this is the fifth index so simply you put some more text here string string uh, index at uh, was string index of was string okay comma now you try to get this one it is getting unterminated string literal. Don't worry. You actually you have started with the 
double quotation marks. It must be end with the double quotation marks. Okay. So then you will get the this is index of was string that is equal to five. So you put separator here. You put separators. Now you run run this code for index of was string five. So index method used to get index of any element. Element any element value. Okay. So if you want to get the index of this value, so you need to write the uh, code. Okay, index method. That method is uh, you access it with the that is variable name means dot index method and pass the any value. Next is what next method, index method. After that, insert method. Insert method, some methods as I discussed, all these already I have briefed in previous classes. Summary, whenever I want to finish this class about lists. So summary, I want to summarize some methods. Okay, insert method. What is the role of insert method here? Inserts. Okay. Insert a value, a value at specified position, at the specified position. Okay. okay. So, how to write the syntax? You need to write like this. So, first of all, take list one dot insert. If whenever you keep dot operator, you will get all the, this is insert method. So insert method will take two arguments. One is that you need to say the position, means index position, what value you want to change. So here I want to keep mm, 999. I want to change 999. So now if you, whenever you try to get print statement, print list one, okay? Now you run this code. So 999 inserted at what position? Zero index. You want to yeah, at Vasu at this 550 index, you want to change. So you change your index value here. You put okay. Now at this Vasu, this triple nine will be placed, inserted. Okay. Where that that is placed. The Vasu value not changed, but at um, fifth uh, index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At fifth index, uh, triple nine inserted. After that, Vasu value shifted to right side. Okay. So index that is insert method will be used. After that, let us see. Next method is word. So insert method will not replace. It inserts at fifth index this value and after that whatever the value they will be shifted to right side. So next method is what pop method. So pop method uh, simply pop method pop brackets. Pop method used to remove removes item at specified position. So removes removes a value at specified position. Okay, try to understand how to do that. Okay. If suppose if you list to one dot pop pop method will be used. So you need to specify a particular index value. So that will be removed. So at this triple nine, its index is five. You pass five. So that value at five index will be removed. So now after that, you need to get fresh printout statement of the list. Print list one. Okay. Now you run this code. Now there is nine triple nine is removed. Remove the value at specified position. Okay, this is the updated list. The pop method will be used to remove a value at a specified position. Then next is word reverse method. What is the meaning of reverse method? Okay, reverse reverse method 
means method means brockets. Uh, it it re uh, reverses the order of the reverses order of list. Okay, let us see. So list one dot reverse is the reverse method. Okay, reverse method must be suffixed with the bracket. So after that, you try to get a printout statement of list one. Okay, then what happened? These values, so 49, Suman, Rahul, Vasu, like this we need to, that is reversed. See, this is our list. The list is reversed. 49, Suman, Rahul, Vasu, Purje. So reversed. This list is reversed. Okay, like this. Okay. After that, so many methods are already we have discussed in the previous classes. Finally, I want to um today I want to uh, terminate this list class and uh, myself I am feeling that is stopped, it is finished. So finally, we will try to understand some methods of the lists. After that, sort method. So what is the uh, Search method means brackets to mm, sort uh, ascending order. Ascending order. The values will be sorted in ascending order. So list one dot sort. Sort method. Okay. Then after you try to get print list one. Okay. You run this code. So type error, what happened here, this sort method, wait, type error, not supported between instances of string and in, in because what happened here, in your list, no, that list is having, uh, uh, this list is having integers, strings, Okay, these are all strings, some complex number, this is a boolean value, this is a float number. So, if this is this moment, the sort method that is to be used only either for the strings, otherwise for integers. Okay, so that moment you do one thing, create a list with hmm, some integer values. X is a list, okay. X is a list. That list is having uh, all the numbers which are with some word. This is what, some word. Okay, this is some word. Okay, this is some words. Okay. So, uh, this X, you pass the X value here. X is a list value. That moment, it ascends. Uh, it... Uh, it sorts the list with the ascending order. Mean ascending means from small value to uh, max value. This is a small value, then 455, then triple eight. Finally, this one. You run this code now, not supported between string and instant. Line 206. List one dot search. There is that. List one dot list one dot we will so why because now uh, I have created the list x but I I want to sort out I want to use x here this is the error here okay now you run this code so this is the sorted ascending order okay ten then four fifty five ascending sort method will be used to uh, get ascending order from small number to Okay, uh, max number, yeah, ascending order. Okay, and next word, this method. So finally, clear method will be used. The clear method will be used to remove all elements from list. So use, you write here, comment here, mm, clear method, clear method clear method is used to clear to clear all values then you will get 
So clear, clear method to clear all values of list. So that moment, so it clears all you all values and you will get a empty list. Okay. So x dot otherwise list one dot clear method. Where is that clear method? I told you that once you keep dot, you will get clear. So so the total list will be cleared, but still empty list will be there. Print list one. Okay. Now you run this code. So you will get the empty list. Means the total list one, all the values of list one cleared, but list empty list will be there. Okay. With no any values. That is the so. This is one class done. Okay. After that, we will try to understand tuples. Tuples, okay. We will get all these tuples. We will use these tuples in Sunday class. We will discuss the tuples in the Sunday class. Huh? Okay. Now the class will be going to be terminated. Okay, we will meet on Sunday. We will discuss the tuples.